Female streamers, girl streamers, people are always pissed off about them. I used to be a lot. I'm not as much now, but recently, I've been seeing some crazy-ass shit. I've been seeing some PG-13 porn stars on that website recently, bending over for donations, bending over for subscribers, doing all kinds of scandalous, scandally clad shit that they should be doing for tokens and not donations and subscribers. But... That's my opinion, and I want to talk to you guys about that today. Also, I feel like female streamers have got a unique position, a precarious position on Twitch where they have some advantages and some disadvantages. So I want to talk to you guys about that because I think ever since Ice Poseidon got banned, and it kind of has called into question, like, let's look at the TOS, let's see what it says, and then you open up the TOS, and then on your other monitor you've got some girl twerking for donations, and you're like, hey, uh... Something doesn't add up here. So I wanted to go over that and uh, have a little bit of a discussion. Now, I think I want to talk about the easiest thing first. And by the way, I've tried to record this video like eight times, but every single time I do, I watch it back and I'm like, who the fuck is this loser? Nobody wants to look at him or watch him. And I figure if I think that about myself, everybody else is going to think that too. So this is like the eighth time recording this, so hopefully this is actually going to be one that you guys see. And it's also 8.30 in the morning, and I spent the whole day jerking off and playing video games, so I want to feel like I did something productive, and I think that's what I did on my last video. So now I also feel like I'm repetitive. So anyway, uh, basically Ice Poseidon gets banned for some kind of shit, and uh, you know I talked about that in my last video, I don't want to go over that too much. But you see some other girls, and you see us on like live stream fail, and like just online in general, and there's like some girl who's like bending over for as I said, donations, or, like, I saw one where she had, like, her friend spank her, and they were, like, recreating, like, a, uh, a Fifty Shades of Grey thing, and it's just, like, I mean, how do you think that's okay on Twitch? And a lot of people are mad. They're like, oh, why aren't people getting banned for this? Why aren't they getting banned for this? People drop tryhards all the time on Twitch, and they don't get banned because nobody reports them. If you see something you think violates the TOS, you should report it. Now, do I think it should violate the TOS? Do I think it should be against the rules? And the answer is, uh, it depends, right? Uh, if Twitch wants to have like a cam girl section of their website, then yeah, just put them over there, of course. But I feel like Twitch is a gaming website, and uh, also it kind of hurts advertising contracts, and this has been a big thing with YouTube too, right? Like a lot of advertising contracts have like morality clauses, where they don't want to have like their advertisements displayed around like racism, sexuality, pornography, or anything that's like kind of politically incorrect that could put them in a bad position as a brand. So whenever you have some uh, basically um, live Jasmine reject sitting on Twitch, Twitch TV trying to twerk for $3 donations, that doesn't necessarily make Coca-Cola look that great. So because of that, I feel like that could also devalue the contracts for advertisements, which is already a dying thing to begin with, uh, for all the other streamers. So it's in everybody's best interest that Twitch protects the, uh, uh, I don't know, like the sanctity or the... Uh, I don't know, like the legitimacy, the integrity, I think that's the word, the integrity of their contracts, because if they don't, it makes the contracts and it makes what the uh, broadcasted content on the website is, it makes it worth less. And I think so, it is important for Twitch to watch out for that, or if they all want to change the paradigm and make it a little bit more sexual, I think that the advertisers might not be okay with that, just because that's the current climate with advertising. It's a, it's a seller's market, right? So um, anyway, you have like these girls doing this, and on the TOS it says basically like you're not supposed to have like you know a, a shirt off, even if you're a dude. I see like some it was like some fat sad guy sitting around with his shirt off, and his wife wouldn't have sex with him or something like that. Like I, I would, I, I feel like they should turn that stream off just because uh, I just kind of made me uh, want to jump off a building. But either, either way, I, you know, I think that the, the rules are important. You should follow the rules. And if you don't apply the rules fairly, then whenever somebody does actually get the rules applied to them at all, then you're going to have all the other circumstances of whenever people do break the rules and it's just, ah, it's all right. Now, uh, back in the day, I was really kind of against, like, the girls, like, showing cleavage and shit like that on the stream, and I definitely don't respect it now, but I honestly don't really give a fuck. I've done a lot of things in my life that I've done to get money, and they haven't necessarily been the most uh, ethical things to do. All of that being said, uh, I don't really think it's good that they're doing that, but from the position that I'm in, I'm not really going to criticize them too much. I, everybody's trying to make money, everybody's trying to get by... And I can't really hate on somebody trying to 
trying to do that, right? At the same time, that doesn't make it okay, right? I think it's very important to, whenever you're going to do something bad, just do something bad. Like, don't, don't try and rationalize it. Don't try and be like, oh, well, I'm like Robin Hood stealing from the rich and giving to the poor, and I happen to be poor and I'm stealing from rich people. Go fuck yourself. I, I absolutely hate that shit. Don't rationalize bad shit that you do. If you want to be a piece of shit, do it. If you want to be an asshole, do it. If you want to be a dickhead, be a dickhead. But don't go ahead and lie to yourself. Don't lie to everybody else. That's a tangent, but it's definitely important at the same time. And I think it does tie it back into everything else. So anyway, uh, before I get too off topic, uh, the girls, they obviously, I, I feel like a lot of those things kind of do break TOS. And... Uh, it's like I think like the way that I look at it is that if somebody's body is the uh, focus of a stream and it's being displayed in a overtly sexual nature, I don't think it should be on Twitch. If a girl wants to have her cleavage on stream, unless the cleavage is the focus of the stream, if it's like not an IRL, the focus should be the game. So if that's not the focus, then that's the problem. And it doesn't really matter what it is, but I feel like whenever it's sexual in nature, as I said, it can't harm the contracts for everybody else, which is something that a lot of people don't think about. So, and also, by the way, uh, I know a lot of people are going to bring this up. They're like, well, you know, the Coca-Cola, they have like supermodels selling Coke at the Super Bowl uh, halftime commercials, right? Yeah, they pick the supermodels, okay? They don't want to have some... Uh, some high school, you know, 23-year-old burnout doing it, okay? They want to have, like, a Victoria's Secret model. Uh, let's, it's not really, it doesn't have to do with the looks, but they want to be able to choose who they actually have represent their brand in that way, if that makes sense. So anyway, uh, that's just another aside. Uh, do I think this is okay? I, as I said, I don't really give a shit, personally. I used to care a lot more, but now I just don't really care as much. And I think they have cracked down on a lot of the, like, really overt stuff. Now, uh, the odds are, if you're like a girl streamer, you might be like, oh, yo, fuck this guy, right? But I do want to actually do the second part of this video and say a little bit of the opposite, is that I feel like girls, it's like really easy to kind of get your stream off the ground if you're a girl, like maybe you get like 10, 20 viewers, and maybe girls get more donation per viewers. Uh, so like if you were like a girl and you get 100 viewers and your guy you get 100 viewers, maybe the girl gets more donations uh, on her stream. Uh, if that makes sense. But I do feel like there's more of a glass ceiling for girls on Twitch, and I think the reason for that is because most of the guys that, uh, m well, there you go, uh, most of the people that watch Twitch are dudes, right? I got a pretty big channel. I mean, I don't know if it's big or not. I got, like, what, 100 and, like, 50, 40, 20, something like that. Uh, 1,000 subscribers on, uh, or not subscribers, I fucking wish, on Twitch, uh, followers on Twitch, and I've got, like, uh, 200 and something subscribers on YouTube. And I go and I look at my analytics, man, it's 97% dicks, Okay. Like, I mean, let's be honest, like, this is a, a, a guy thing. Like, uh, Twitch and video games, and especially, like, the, uh, the the greater community of it, the extended community, uh, it's a male space. So it makes sense that it's going to be mostly dudes watching this stuff. I, I don't really see what the, what the problem with admitting that is. And uh, also on top of that, uh, I think it's easier to identify with somebody that you share the gender with. Look, I'm trying to move that around so it doesn't look like I'm going bald. It doesn't really do a good job, though. Anyway, it's easier to identify with somebody that you share a gender with. And um, it's important to realize that, right? So if I'm watching a stream and a lot of people watch streams to identify with the streamer and it's a girl, I'm going to have like that extra barrier of uh, being able to make a connection with that individual. So what you have happen with like girl streamers is you have a lot of people watching them that, uh, I mean, obviously you have normal people. Uh, that's actually the majority of everybody. You just have normal people that don't act weird, but there is a higher propensity of them to just be like kind of weirdos or like try and fall in love with them. And, oh, wow, you're dating somebody now. I'm going to unsubscribe from your channel. I'm going to like send you a mean message and you know well you're a sellout or something like that and you know it's just people that try and live vicariously through a streamer and they think just because she says thank you for three dollar donations that they're dating so you got a lot of fucking weirdos on twitch and um i don't really like to apologize to people other than myself but on behalf of all guys in the world girls i'm sorry that some people are like that it's fucking weird but to be honest some girls are like that too so it goes both ways I'm not attractive enough for them to be that towards me, though. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I, I feel like just in general, it's like, it puts them in a weird position where they can get to, like, a, a decent point with their streams, 
but you hardly ever see chicks with like more than a thousand, two thousand, or especially three thousand viewers. Especially not at the same rate as guys. And I don't think there's like any girl that gets over 10k. So I feel like the reason for that, there's that one reason, right, as I said, is that like most guys want to watch other guys because they watch streamers to identify with them. And uh, it's easier to identify with somebody that shares your gender. Okay, like, come on. I mean, do we really have to talk about that? Now, number two, this is another thing, is that there was a lot of girls, like, back whenever Twitch first came in, that were, uh, y you know, it seems like, you know, they made the, the focus of the stream, like the, the Nicole Slaws choking out her cat, or even before that, you know, doing all kinds of uh, scandalous things, uh, Casey Trons, you know, those people that were like the original OG gamer grills uh, on, on Twitch kind of helped to establish a uh, stereotype for girls online. So whenever you're a girl and uh, you have like a, a stream and people are like, oh yeah, of course she's got a donate button. She's just a fake gamer girl that wants money. And that's just what they assume, because there are other girls that kind of perpetuate that stereotype. And for every girl that's actually just trying to play video games and have fun and maybe make some money at it, because by the way, of course they're trying to make money, guess what? Everybody that has a donation button is trying to make money. <laughs> Come on. Um, I feel like they get judged more harshly, okay? And uh, I think that's another really big thing, is that there's a lot of stereotypes for girls on Twitch and girls in gaming that they're faking it for attention or that they're doing something else for attention. And uh, it's kind of a bad position that they get put in. And uh, in a way, it's not their fault, right? If you're a girl and you love video games, you've always loved video games, you come onto this website and people are insulting you, telling you that you're fake and that you're just in it for the money. Like, you didn't do anything to deserve that. And I would challenge anybody to, if that's the way that you, uh, you know, you see somebody like that, uh, or, or I don't know, like if you're going to go on Twitch, like you see like a girl, like try to try to judge people on what they do rather than what somebody else did a few years ago that made you mad. You know what I mean? Like everybody's different. You, you can't always just say like, yeah, well, because this one person was a complete piece of shit then all of the people like this are a piece of shit. You know, stereotypes maybe uh, are, are could be a general trend, of course. That's why they're stereotypes. But it doesn't mean that whenever you apply them down to an individual, you're going to be right even half the time. So that's kind of the way that I feel about it. I think that, you know, if you do see a girl stream and, uh, you know, it feels like, you know, oh, maybe she's doing it for money, try to uh, try to give people a second chance. Try to give them a little bit of understanding because a lot of people, uh, male and female, just love video games and they want to share that with other people. And if they want to make a little bit of money with that on the side or as a job, I don't really think that's any less or any more legitimate if you're male or female. So I think that's really important to understand, and I wish more people would look at it that way. So to recap, uh, the PG-13 porn stars on Twitch on the IRL section, uh, you know, I think probably they should crack down on that a little bit, especially whenever they, like, grabbing their boobs and stuff. Like, uh, that, that's... That's a little bit too much. It's just, it's too obvious, in my opinion. Anybody that's uh, that, that's saying that this isn't what they're doing is just, I, I think, intellectually dishonest. But maybe I'm just an idiot. I don't think that I am, though, in that regard. Um, and that's basically my opinion, okay? So I know a lot of people are kind of, uh, this is a really touchy subject, and I'm sure that I kind of triggered people on both sides of the uh, of the spectrum. Probably a lot of the people that get triggered are on the spectrum, too. So, it's the way it goes. Uh, I don't think that girls in gaming, like, I mean, like, yeah, of course there's fake gamer girls. What are you going to say, that there's no girl that does that? Of course there are girls that do that. Is that a norm? Of course not. No. But at the same time, there are girls that do take advantage of people. I think they need to be called out. And uh, not only because of the fact that they're doing that, and it should, it's kind of like hurts the website and it like, uh, it undermines its credibility. And as I said before, it could hurt advertising contracts. So it became like kind of a stereotype for Twitch. But on top of that, um, it's just not what the website's for. And uh, there's a lot of other websites that uh, allow that, but Twitch really hasn't been one. And uh, also at the same time, I feel like girls probably should get a better chance. And uh, I think that you should give girls like more of a chance on Twitch rather than just judging them based off somebody else. So, uh, that's pretty much the way that I feel. I'd be curious to hear how many people think I'm a piece of shit. Probably everybody, but that's the way it goes. Anyway, uh, that's pretty much all I got. Peace.